What to do with old nursing school textbooks. Let's say you just graduated and you have a plethora of very expensive textbooks. What can you do with them? They do get outdated kind of quickly, and I made the mistake back in 2010 when I graduated thinking, oh, I'll keep these because I'll refer back to them. You're not going to refer back to them. Sorry, you're not going to do that. You're going to look online because online is going to be much more up to date than anything in your nursing textbooks. And actually, you know, since I've graduated there, the databases online of information are wonderful and they are actually updated much more frequently. Like my hospital had like a uh, subscription to Lippincott and they use that to substantiate all of their policies and procedures. So it would actually be outdated for me to refer to my textbooks. So if you're hanging on to them thinking you're going to refer to them like for clinical expertise or like deepening your knowledge, you're not going to, okay? Um, the only reason I would hang on to nursing school textbooks is if in 50 years you want to look back at what you were studying in nursing school, which actually I think it's kind of cool. I actually have like a couple old nursing textbooks and it's very interesting to look back at them for nostalgia's sake for like, oh wow, this is pretty cool. So if you want to pick one or two to do that with, cool. But I don't want you to think you're gonna like get something out of keeping these past school. So here are some options of what you can practically do for those books you don't wanna keep. All right, number one is if you know someone who is a year earlier than you in school or getting ready to start at the same school, I would donate them to them or sell them to them. Um, that way you're benefiting someone right there, like that you can see that go to them um, and that's and then you're also going to shave, save on shipping costs if you were going to try to sell it online so that's a great one especially if you know someone who doesn't have a lot of money and coming up with the money for these books is really tough i would highly recommend doing that even if let's say the course recommends the updated edition a lot of times there are small updates and someone would much rather have an older edition than pay a couple hundred dollars more for a brand new one with minor detail changes. So donate to somebody who's younger than you or just getting started at the same school. You also could sell them online too. A lot of people do that. Uh, you don't expect that you're going to get the same out that you paid for them if you bought them brand new. So that is an option to, to sell online. Um, you could burn them. I think I burned some of mine because I just I just needed to see them go away. So <laughs> you could have a little bonfire, have a little event with the people you graduate with. I know people have done that. That's an option. Um, also, I have read that overseas, developing countries w with nursing programs would really benefit from our textbooks. And there are various organizations online you can look at donating them to. And I believe Medscape has a program where you can donate your textbooks and they get those to uh, countries who are in need for nurses overseas. There's another option. You can also donate them to a library, a to Goodwill, or even like if you have a local prison system, they, that is something that can be included in their library too. You're not going to get money back for them, but you know they're going to be um, somewhere where they're going to get used, um, they're not going to get destroyed, and it can help somebody out who can't afford that textbook. So those are some options for you to consider when deciding what to do with those God forsaken nursing school textbooks. Just don't keep thinking that you're going to look at them in 10 years because you're totally, you're, you're totally not going to do that. <laughs> um, if you'd like more tips and tricks about nursing, make sure you sign up for my email list. The link is in the description of this video. Thanks, nurses.